Uh, for this activity, we're going to be calculating and recording the rest of the employer payroll taxes. In our instructions, it tells us payroll information taken from an employee earnings records is given below. A form and general journal page are provided in the working papers. Um, so we have two employees. We have their accumulated earnings and their total earnings. Uh, their accumulated earnings go through April, April 30th, and then their total earnings are for the current pay period, May 1st through 15th. So step one says to calculate the amount of earnings subject to unemployment taxes. Unemployment taxes are owed on the first $7,000 of earnings for each employee. All right, so um, if we look here at our first person, they have not hit $7,000 yet. And then if we take their current pay, $5,100, and add to it their total earnings, $637.50, we still haven't reached $7,000. So their unemployment taxable earnings for this period are $637.50. Now if we look at Irma Cintron, she is already over $7,000, so her unemployment taxable earnings are going to be zero. And then we're going to run our totals for these columns. So our total earnings is $637.50 plus $920 is $1,557.50 and then our unemployment taxable earnings are $637.50 now to calculate social security tax payable we've already done the social security tax for the payroll itself but an employer also has to pay social security tax and medicare tax um, for each of its employees. So even though it looks like it's 6.2%, the employer is actually paying 12.4% because they are paying 6.2% for the employee and then they're paying 6.2% for themselves. And that's why so many um, employers choose to pay their employees under the table, um, which is illegal. But they do that because they want to avoid having to pay these taxes, which actually are 12.4% and 2.9% if you pay them both for the employer and the employee. Uh, so if we had all of the information, um, these numbers have been calculated before. But since we don't, since we have an incomplete uh, payroll here, we're going to take our total earnings. 1,557.50 and we're going to times it by 6.2% and that gives us 96.57 and that is our Social Security tax payable. Then we're going to calculate Medicare by doing 1557.50 times 1.45% and it looks like it's 22.58. All right, then we have our unemployment tax and we're basing this off of our unemployment taxable earnings. So our federal unemployment tax is 0.8%, really small amount. So we're gonna do 637.50, this number here, times 0.8%, so it's $5.10, and then the state unemployment rate is 5.4%, so we're going to do 637.50 times 5.4%, and it is 34.43. And then we come up with a total of all four of those numbers added together.
and I come up with 15868. These are the numbers that we're going to use to record inside our general journal. All right, step two is to calculate the amount of of employer payroll taxes owed for May 1st through 15th, which we did all the calculations here. And then step three is to journalize the employer's payroll taxes for May 1st through May 15th. Now back in 13-1, we recorded um, the payroll itself. And the payroll was recorded in the cash payments journal because we write a check to the payroll account for that. And then along with that, we record the employer's payroll taxes, and those go in the general journal. And let's see, we put in the date here. We are making this payment on the 15th. So we're going to put May 15th of the current year. And we are going to debit payroll taxes expense And then we are going to credit each of our payable accounts. So we'll start with Social Security Tax Payable. Oh, and we can take these amounts here. So the payroll taxes expense is a debit of $158. 68 and then social security tax payable we have a credit of 96.57 then we have medicare tax payable twenty two fifty eight And then we have unemployment tax payable of 1,000 federal. five dollars and ten cents and then we have unemployment tax payable state hyphen state and it is thirty four forty three so these four credits equal our one debit and then our source document on this is going to be a memorandum and it tells us that it is memorandum 46 so we put in M46 and that is how we calculate and then record the employers payroll taxes uh, you should be able to complete the 13-2 on your own